So Liam, we'll start with uh, injury news. How's everyone looking ahead of the trip to Fulham on Friday? Um, yeah, uh, head count after the the Blackburn game. Um, listen, we know we've, we've got a tight squad at the minute, so everybody who was available, fingers crossed, will be available um, for, a, for a really healthy challenge on, on Friday. In terms of long-term absences, there's a few out at the moment. Um, are any of them looking likely to be involved on Friday? Um, it touch and go, very doubtful, but um, you know the lads are working hard. And, you know, fingers crossed, we'll see them sooner rather than later. Whilst he's cup tied for the weekend's game, you do have an opportunity to take a look at him on the training pitch ahead of our next league game, which is obviously a benefit. Yeah, listen, I've competed against Peter many times. Um, I'll, um, just to reiterate, it'd be a you know, really good addition to the changing rooms, a really good addition to the, to the pitch, to the training pitch, and obviously on a Saturday, Tuesday, whenever we, we might play. Um, so, you know, I know a lot about Peter. I know... You know, a lot of his strengths and, and the areas where, where we can try and improve together. Um, you know, to add to our group going forward, um, you know, he's had a great loan spell. Got some real good plaudits, which you'd expect from a, a player of Peter Peter's quality. Uh, so he comes back in, you know, with, with good, good credentials and good quality to the group. Obviously, Peter is back. We touched upon that. Um, a number of players we have both on loan here and out on loan at, at other clubs. Have decisions been made on them yet? Uh, Jamie McCart will be staying at Barnsley, um, the, the agreement with both clubs, uh, Barnsley wants to, to keep hold of him so that was already in the contract before I, I came to the football club uh, and then you know the conversations with loan players in and out, the, the conversations that we're having every day so you know train hard, keep your head down and, uh, and we'll keep moving forward. In terms of the transfer window itself, it's obviously open. We know that you're constantly having conversations with our head of recruitment, Rob Scott. Um, are you hopeful of doing any business during January? I'd oh, hope so, with the position that we're in and you know the squad that we've got and the injuries that we've that we've faced and the challenges that are, that are coming forward. You'd hope so, um, but you know we certainly won't be just adding numbers for the sake of it. We want to add quality. We want to add competition for places, and to do that, they've got to be you know good people and good players to come to the football club. So you know we're working hard to try and do that. There are a number of good displays against Blackburn on, on, on Monday, but Sean Morrison certainly stood out. He got his goal and put in a really strong defensive performance. You must be really pleased with his game at the moment. Yeah, he's trying to get himself a move in January, isn't he? Um, he's our only fit centre-half, though, so we can't sell him yet. Um, no, I can only compliment like I did at the weekend uh, on some Monday. Um, you know, the availability of Sean, the, the professionalism, the way he's been able to you know, regenerate and, and give the output. Um, he's been a fantastic leader for the two young lads at the side of him. Um, so, you know, credit goes to himself for a professional uh, and then the performance. Availability is the key word, isn't it? Because over the festive period, he played 90 minutes in every game. Yes, absolutely. And, and to be honest, he's a senior player. He knows how to look after himself. <clears throat> he knows the challenges. He knows the output that he needs to, to deliver. Um, and he's managed to do that, you know, albeit over the Christmas period as well. So, um, again, just to reiterate, you know, fair credit to him as a professional, uh, but as a person as well. Tommy is someone you handed his first start of the season to and he rewarded you with another goal. Um, he must be someone again who's, who's, who's impressing at the moment. He has the all are. I think, you know, like I said before, I've got a certain demand, a certain high level of, of um, you know, where, where we set our bar. Um, and Tom's like it and no other. You know, he, he knows exactly what, what we think and, and, you know, the levels that we have to deliver. And it's been, you know, complimentary to, to his goals. Um, you know, deserves to, you know, to start the game anyway with how he's trained, his professionalism, um, and like I say, competition for places, everything. Finally, a break from league action um, this Friday against Fulham. Um, a, a different test against Premier League opposition, but one the players will be relishing. Yeah, absolutely. It's, you know, it's fantastic, isn't it? The FA Cup, it's got all the, the thrills and you know the feelings about it to go away to a Premier League team. I think they've won six out of the ten Premier League games at Craven Cottage, so you know we know the challenge. <clears throat> it'll, be, it'll be a really strong, healthy one. But we'll go down there, you know, fully prepared with the will to win um, and, you know, another will to, to give a real strong account of ourselves. Tom, you've been in football a long time uh, and sometimes a fresh voice on the training ground can lift the place. Has it felt that way for you? Yeah, it's definitely felt like um, it's been a lift for me in the past few weeks. Obviously, I've not been playing under the previous manager. Um, so it's been really good for me these last, to give me a new lease of life, really. But, yeah. You know, I was just um, I was talking yesterday and I realised I actually hadn't started the game in the whole of 2023, which was baffling to me and just nuts. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely given me a new lease of life. It's often said that strikers thrive on confidence and you look like someone brimming with it at the moment. Is that mm -hmm. how it feels to you? 
a few people said this to me, like I, I didn't not feel confident. I've just got more minutes. Um, <laughs> uh, like, like I said, I, I hadn't started the game all season and I started my first game. So it's hard to showcase confidence in trips and jobs of like five minutes or six minutes when if you're coming on, you know, usually when you get and be like one or two nil and playing long ball in six minutes, like how can I display confidence in those cameos over them winning headers? Like so yeah, uh, I've it was, I've never really had a lack of confidence in all honesty. Yeah. Everyone is still at the stage where by the fan have proved their worth to a new boss. But you must be really pleased with the impact you've had on him in that respect since you walked with him. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It's just been, you know, given that element of trust which which I felt like I deserved. Uh, you know, I should have with the way I train and, and my application and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, hopefully I, I get that now. Two goals in three away games, both in front of the Millers away end, which always helps. You clearly enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just, it's just good to score goals again, to be honest. Like, that's, that is what I was literally brought here to do. Um, and as I say, I just keep saying that word, opportunity, and I think that's what it comes down to. You know, I'm, I'm definitely a far better player when I start games instead of coming on cold or in, you know, 80th minute or whatever, I'm I'm far more effective and I get fitter and sharper as well the more I play. So, um, yeah. One of them's a poach to finish, nipping in the back post, and the other was a brave header from a low cross. Uh, not just getting the goals, but you're showing that you can get them in a number of ways. Yeah, as I say, um, a lot of my a lot of my goals that I've always scored are in, in and around the box, and that's... That's what I believe the type of player I am. I'm very much a stay in the box as much as possible type of guy. Sometimes I can, I can get impatient like all strikers do, and you want to, you know, start drifting out wide, get more touches of the ball and stuff like that. But ultimately, you know, that is what I see myself as and, and what I am. You know, I'm, I'm a mobile uh, number nine, and, and that's who I am. You said post Plymouth that you're really grateful for how the fans have stuck with you. For Tommy, is it big that you repay them to? Yeah, I think so. Uh, a lot of people, you know, going through that spell where it was just terrible for me. Uh, a lot of people were coming up to me and was like, you know, we really wanted to do well. And like, I had so many, you know, you see so many fans outside the game, just, you know, just saying like, you know, really looking forward to getting the opportunity and hope you take it and stuff like that. And it was nice, really, like, you know, it just, it just shows, you know, the um, how much people you know care the fans you know it's it's just nice it's just nice and it was nice to be paid them as well and and long may that continue really let's talk about the challenge ahead because it's a big one yeah uh, the lads in the dressing room are obviously willing to tackle it head on uh, and we heard from Sean Morrison after Blackburn say that this is one of the best groups he's been a part of would you agree with that yeah uh, as I say you know I keep saying as I say where the atmosphere is just electric Craven Cottage I love playing there it's actually probably one of my favourite grounds to play in um, and it's just going to be a really tough test whilst the league is obviously the priority this season it'd be nice to try and upset the odds a bit and put together a cup run yeah I mean for me you know the league is is the priority in fairness you know uh <laughs> If you ask a lot of the players, do they want a huge cut run? I don't know, so, you know, I, I suppose it'd be divided, really. Probably with fans as well. But for me, I think the priority is is the league. Uh, you know, it'd be nice to go there and get a win. Um, but, yeah, let's just see what happens, see how it plays out. Obviously no pressure, but you've now scored two in your last three away games. Craven Cottage would be a decent place to go and build on that record, wouldn't it? Yeah. I've scored there before and uh, funny enough, I actually got a bit of flack for the finish and you know what, if people watch it back, it was actually an unbelievable finish, an unbelievable reactive finish. But people said because I fell over after it, I lost my footing. It's because I was running so fast, mate. That's what it was. And it was a reactive finish. So we can insert the video here and you can look at that finish. <laughs>